it's Presley at actoutgames.com here, and today is Science Sunday, and we're going to be talking about... <sighs> I think we're going to have to start this over again. <laughs> Just kidding! Uh, today is Science Sunday, and we're going to be talking about the new Spangler Science Club, which is all about slime. Slime. So this one's kit is all about gross science, which is really cool because it's really fun to do stuff like pranks with your friends with the gross science slime. So it teaches you how to make slime and it has these basic ingredients, which is the crosslinker powder and the slime goo. And the crosslinker powder comes as powder, but we mix water with it, so that's why it's not powder anymore. And the shaker cups that has this label on it that comes with the different levels for mixing. So you put in like one to the one of slime goo and then one little scoop of the cross linker powder for some for the basic slime so you can and then you shake it up and it becomes slime and in the book it has the recipe for the basic slime and it encourages you to mix it up and put like different amounts like two up to the two of the slime goo and one and a half scoops of the cross linker to see all the different slime you can make and see how different it is. So I put together this notebook which says uh, what we the recipe for the recipe for what we used, when my hypothesis for what happened, and then what actually happened. And it's really really cool and really fun to see if it's completely different from what you thought would happen, or if it's similar, or if it's exact. It's pretty cool to mess around with these slime ingredients and mixing. So you can control how slime it is or how bouncy it is and some of them that we've made is really bouncy like silly putty and it bounces off the table and some of the stuff we've made is really runny and you can barely hold on to it like the one I used in the beginning of the video was pretty runny. So it's a pretty cool and now that I put together this notebook I can see what I used and so if I wanted to make one with the like liquidy ones or the squishy and bouncy then I can mix the stuff like that and get the one that I want. And it also comes with, let me pop open the kit, lots of different things you can add into your slime once you learn how to like make the slime and the consistency that you want. You can mix in like these little foam balls that make little spider eggs and these cockroaches, which for a second kind of scared me because I didn't know that they were, I was, I was picked up this, and little cockroaches that you can mix in and there's some uh, sparkly stuff and some stuff that you can mix in to make it kind of glow like shampoo. And ooh, fizzers, you can make colors, I guess. And uh, sparklies, more cockroaches. And it's just a really fun, really fun, awesome time. And I can't wait to be making lots of different kinds of slimes. Like maybe I can make cockroach slime and trick some people with that, or a spider egg slime. So this is one of the more thicker slimes that we made. So when you drop it on the table, it kind of bounces a little bit. And if you remember our Ublik video, these are also non-Newtonian fluids. So when you pull it really slowly, it stretches like a fluid, but when you pull it really fast, it breaks like a solid. So it's really, really cool, and I love playing with anything non-Newtonian fluid. So now let's talk a little bit about what's going on here and how the slime works and what this crosslinker is. At the molecular level, water is made up of the stuff called monomers, which means one mer. <laughs> mer means part, so it means one part. So when so they're not really sticking together, so in this bowl, each little pellet represents a monomer or a part, and in water, these little mers, monomers, are call, are the H2O molecules. So when I raise my hand through this, they all just kind of fall down because they're not stuck to each other or anything. So none of them are holding the rest up, so they're just kind of falling out of my hand when I do this, like water. And then there are the polymers, which are making these really long strands. And you might say, well, water makes strands. Well, it has hydrogen bonds, but they're not as strong as the polymer bonds, so it's easy just to rake through and they fall out. So then there's the polymers, which is this bowl, where we linked a bunch of beads together on a string. So these are polymers. So when I rake my hand through these, they all get stuck on here. So it's not like they can't they can't pass through each other because they're not all connected. It's just harder because they're bigger and a bunch of them are stuck to each other. So if one of those gets stuck, the rest kind of gets stuck too. It's becoming a little more like slime because it kind of sticks together a little bit. So then there's the cross linking, which is like when I link these beads together, 
and they get stuck on each other. So what I'm gonna do real quick is cross link the whole solution so all the beads are stuck together. So this is what happens when the monomers link together. They become polymers and those polymers become cross linked. So now watch what happens when I rake my hand through here. Is all the beads come up, even though if I only hold on to like a few, if there's only a few caught in my hands, they all hang off because they're cross-linked and they're all attached to each other. So this is really, really cool. So this is um, a bunch of polymers. So we have a polymer and a cross-linker. And the more cross-linker you put in, the more cross-linked it becomes and the more it, it sticks together and they all hang off even though I just hang on to the tippy top of one bead. There's this whole thing. So if you put a bunch of cross linker, it'll start getting more and more like stuck together and more and more if you only pick it less drippy and less and less and less drippy. So you may think this is just a fun experiment to play around with and make slime, but it's actually not. Cross-linking is used to strengthen a lot of things, like my dad has problems with his eyes and his cornea is too weak, so his cornea was kind of deforming because of the pressure in his eye. So the treatment that helped that is actually cross-linking. So they cross-linked all the strands of his cornea together and it actually worked really well and stopped the deforming of his cornea. So even though you're just kind of playing around with it and making slime, you're also learning about stuff that changes people's lives almost every day. And that's what's really cool about these Steve Finger Science Club kits. Another good thing about being a member of the Steve Finger Science Club and getting these kits is you slowly start to build up your own science lab. So it could start with this goo and these cups, and then you get root beer bottles um, for from the genie in the bottle, and a bunch of test tubes, and pipettes, and even Steve Spengler science goggles from the lab. So it's really cool that I'm kind of building my own little science lab down here, and I have tons of stuff, and when me and my brother kind of get bored, we come down here and I mix up like something real fast, like maybe I mix, uh, maybe I mix up some goo or something and show it to him to keep us entertained. And it's just really cool that we have our own little science lab down here. I'd like to note, we especially have a lot of fizzers. Fizzers have come in a lot of these kits. Tons of fizzers. So a, another reason why I recommend being a member of this is you can build up your own little science lab and you have lots of chemicals for different experiments and maybe even if you could see a cool experiment on the internet that has a bunch of chemicals that you wouldn't think you'd normally have if you're part of this you'll probably have those chemicals even if they come in different kits so it's just really cool and i love that i have my own little science lab downstairs so yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow bye it's time to press the subscribe button a subscribe button a subscribe button a subscribe subscribe Bye 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 bye